Up next, the Thunder Cars. We had five different winners this year in the Thunder Cars. Tenth place from Bloomington, Short Track Jack Purcell. Ninth place from Farmington, Jeff Partington. Eighth place from Invergrove Heights, Michael Holman, the neighbor. Seventh place from Shakopee, Adam Weebush. Sixth place from Lakeville, Scott King. Fifth place from Shakopee, Eric Campbell. Fourth place from Lonsdale. Eight wins this year for the freight train, Brett Kane. Third place from Dundas. Three wins for Ted Reavers. Second place from Chaska. Two big wins for Jeremy Wolf. And your champion with three wins from Lakeville, Conrad Jorgensen. Right here, that's good. <laughs> Hopefully I can read this. Rick, did you bring me your glasses? He doesn't wear them on Saturdays either. I bet you can see if you wear these. <laughs> How do I look? First off, I'd like to thank the other, uh, congratulate all the other champions. Uh, all you guys know how much work it is to be up here every year. Um, it's, it's a lot of work and uh, everybody does a great job. I'd like to thank Tom Ryan and the Elko Speedway staff. Uh, we are all lucky to have such a great facility to race at. Tom does a great job of making this place open for us. Uh, it's a great sandbox to play in. Appreciate everything he does. Uh, all you guys, it's been a pleasure racing with everyone. Jeremy, thanks for coming to Elko Speedway. We had a great time racing with you and your crew. It was so much fun. And uh, you got it close there. And I think you know what to do next year. I'd like to dedicate this championship uh, to two people that have helped me accomplish a lot of goals in racing in my career. Uh, they're no longer with us, Greg Peterson from Extreme Powder Coating and Bruce Mueller from B&B Racing Engines. Uh, both of these guys helped me accomplish some of the major goals of my career and uh, appreciate everything they've done and uh, we're going to miss them greatly. Uh, can't believe I won my first championship 20 years ago. <laughs> Here at Elko Speedway, my first full year in the Thunder Cars. Uh, and I tell you what, there, there's been quite a few in between, but they are all incredible. There's so much work to do this. Uh, it takes a lot of hard work and uh, takes a lot of time away from things that, uh, that we could be doing my, with my family and my friends. I can't do it without a lot of help from a lot of people. First of all, my sponsors, Craig Wearson, Brick and Stone, Herman's Landscape Supplies, Captain Black's, yeah. great place to go, uh, Amber Auto Body and Extreme Powder Coating. I got my crew, Ed, there every Saturday helping me out. He does all the work on the car. <laughs> Just ask him. Uh, Cletus, who's not here, we got Fatty. Rochelle, thanks for all the excellent work on the tires. Chad's here once in a while, and then I got my newest members of my crew, my daughter Julie and my son Jimmy. Uh, it's been a blast having them in the pits. And if uh, any of you haven't seen Jimmy, he's the best juggler in the pit area. Yeah. Can't do it without a great car owner, Sarah Jones. You know, she asked me a couple years ago to drive a car for her, and then uh, she paid me to build one. It was awesome. <laughs> 
we got one of the best cars out there and I enjoyed racing it every Saturday night. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, my family, they're the ones that keep me going all the time. Uh, they give up the most and they're also the ones that keep the drive going to race. Uh, got my kids, Allie, Julie and Jimmy, and then my wife, Lisa, uh, always keeps me positive, which sometimes isn't easy, and keeps me racing. It, it, she's the driving force behind my racing career. That's about all I got to say, and I'm looking forward to next season. Look out, guys. Thank you. Is that more than two minutes, about?